Adam Wiseman and Katie Bryce run Cobb in Cornwall, building and renovating Cobb structures from houses and barns to bus shelters and clay ovens. Following the success of their first book, Building with Cobb, they've written a step-by-step -step guide to using natural finishes, lime and clay-based plasters, renders and paints. Here, Adam demonstrates how to make a clay plaster. So we're mixing a fine clay to an aggregate, a mixture of three aggregates to one clay. And finally we're going to add some chopped straw to the mix to give it tensile strength. So we've wetted the wall down previously so that the plaster sticks really well to the wall. And the clay and the manure in the plaster makes it really sticky and it helps it to stick to the wall really well. This is just one of the natural finishes described in Adam and Katie's book, which also includes lime and clay-based plasters, renders and paints. Now we're going to make up a basic lime wash. In the bucket here I've got about a third full of lime putty. Now it's very important to wear gloves and safety goggles when you're making up lime wash because lime putty is very caustic and it can burn your eyes and your skin. At this point, we're going to add two-thirds full of water. And now we're going to give it a stir. What we've done here is we've added four to one brown to black in a warm liquid mixture. I'm using a circular motion to really work the lime wash into the lime render. And uh, in terms of coloring, in the next few hours, this will lighten considerably. So this is the second coat, and the second coat always goes on much easier than the first. You can clearly see the color difference between the second coat and the first coat. The first coat is much paler than the second coat, but over time, this will actually dry out to be the exact same color. Using Natural Finishes is published by Green Books and is now available through this website or at all good bookshops.